Okay, so now before we go to our next title fight, which is gonna be um, James Cavalry versus Ellis McCauley, I've got to mention. Um, I don't know if you're some professional, whether some professional um, circuit knows, but uh, my chap by the name of Mark Burn, um, he boxed him for some professional. He passed away sadly at the, at the tender age of 30. Um, I know he fought at 12 Kings Boxing Club and they were very, very successful boxing club on the circuit as well. Um, I'm sure myself and everyone else would like to um, extend our condolences um, to Mark's family at this time. Um, when when boxers pass away suddenly from the sport, you know, as a community we always um, rally together to make sure that obviously the family knows that we care. So I just want to shout this one out for you. Um, I don't know how to say, Mark. I'm sorry, mate. Um, I'm sure you're up there, you're up there in heaven watching the show. I'm sure you're enjoying it. Again, my condolences go out to your family, and I've got to say that this event is actually sponsored by. Um, re reality Dream is exit travel. I have to say again, this um, this sorry being a bit dyslexic. This event is um, sponsored by Reality Dream Executive Travel, taking you to the airport, taking you to wherever you need to go, town, wherever in style. Give them a call if you need a very, very, very um, taxi. I'm telling you now, it's luxurious. Give them a give them a ring, most definitely. This is going to be a, this is a bit of a, this is a bit of a revenge fight this one, um, because, let me see, or is it a revenge fight? I might just talk in nonsense. Ignore me. We've got James Cavalry out, out here, um, he is, um, what can I say about James, he's the definition of non-stop, he keeps him going, he, does not, he never stops, he's, he's, always, he's always in a fight, what can I say, he's a, I, like, I like James, I like him, I really, really do like him, obviously the Cavalry brothers, they're there, they're there to fight, oh look at this little man in the ring here, enjoying himself, that's what it's all about. You know, boxing's for everyone to enjoy, you know, adults, kids, that's what, that's what we want, really. Oh, little man. But again, we've got, we've got a tough fight here, we've got, we've got James, we've got James Cavalry versus um, Alice McCauley. Now, last time I saw about this, um, he put on a very, very good performance. I would have loved to have seen him use his jab a little bit more, because he got involved in a bit of a scrap and he didn't need to, but... Nevertheless, for this fight, he's going to need to establish a jab rather than because if he doesn't, James Cavalry is going to be in his chest all night long, just like his brother David. And once they're, once they're there, they will never move. So let's see how this one pans out. Round one. That's what I'm talking about. James Cavalry will just stay in his chest all night long. There we go. Ellis Prom won the jab. Yeah, we've got James James Carvelli. We've got James Carvelli versus, versus Ellis most definitely with Ellis McCauley back once again. Most definitely, yeah. Um, I was just saying before you before you got back, um, what Ellis needs to do, he needs to establish his jab very, very quickly because if he doesn't, we know James Carvelli, me and you, we both know him. He'll be in Ellis's chest all night long, throwing heavy punches. James is, he fights he fights like a short man does as well, and, he, and he's a tough guy, so. Ellis has got to make sure that he keeps his, uh, he, he stays oh, in the oh. game. It, it takes a lot for James Carvelli to get dropped, and I thought he was going to get dropped then for the second game. Yeah. Oh, no, no, best believe James Carvelli's not going nowhere, he's a tough man, he, yeah, yeah, he knows he's what he's doing. I, just, I, I really thought then for a second that something was going to happen that I've never seen before. No. I've got, I've got to be honest with you, while I've been, while, while I've been in the circuit, again, it, 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 this uh, oh, see what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. he, he got stumbled but he didn't go down, do you know what I mean? No, he's, he, he's, he's feeling Ellis's punches here. He is, he is. Ellis is definitely fighting the right fight, Ellis is fighting right, nice and upright. 
he's jabbing, he's making his punches, he's making his punches work, and I can't, I can't knock him for it, you know, oh, James got through with a big overhand right though, but at the same time, Ellis is shooting back, this is a, this, this James, is turning, this is turning to a firefight area, do you know what, I love this, I love this kind of fight, I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> Wow, and and around what? For me, for me, the, the corner guy's got a big John. If you can hear me, you got to ring that bell out loud, mate. You got to really, really ring that bell. I'm struggling to hear you sometimes, but nevertheless, we heard it just about then. But back to the back, back to the action. That was a good first round. I have to say that Ellis McCauley definitely took it. Big some activity. He scored with a cleaner, heavier punches. And um, what do you think, Robin? Well. It's interesting in the fact that I've seen James Carley fight, I've seen Ellis McCauley fight before, on the last fight also. Uh, what I can say is this, I'm surprised to see James Carley get wobbled like that. It's you know, not very often you see him about to go. No it isn't, no it isn't. James has got has generally got recorded a granite chin, but at the same time, but when you're boxing over the years, when you find eventually that granite starts to chip, and eventually, once it chips too many times, it's going to crumble. So. James is um, what you call a face first fighter and that's not a disrespect to him because a lot of guys are very very successful like that but eventually once you start feeling the punches you need to change your style and maybe this might be the night that James that James actually might pay for it but nevertheless it's been a fantastic fight so far there's an opportunity for another cut shot, shot here with the guy being open there is there is but at the same time um, James, he's, James he's, not, he's not giving Ellis the opportunity and that's what that's what he needs to be doing. Well, when he closes that distance down, Ellis will then have the opportunity to do that. He tried it just down the side, never wait. He's pivoted him off now. He's going for that right hand shot. James Cavani pushing him back to the side of the ropes. He is. Now, now, I don't know if you realise, but all the, the the majority of the shots that Ellis has thrown, they're all going to the head. I've not seen anything. He's not. I've not seen him sink a good body shot in. I think if he does that, obviously James Carvelli's looking a bit fleshy around the midriff. To be put to play politely. I think he might. I think he might hurt him to the body because he's not really thrown there. But again, it's his experience. The right hand from Ellis McCauley there now. Lovely right, lovely right hand from James Calvelli. Most definitely. Uh, right now, Ellis is starting to open up on him, but at the same time, James. Oh, closing the gap now. He, he is. He, James has snuck through with a sneaky right hand there, but making Ellis have to hold on for a second. But nevertheless, Ellis is still controlling this fight. Oh, what a jab from James from from Carvelli. There we go, Ellis is probing out with that jab again. The interesting thing with Victory Fight Club is they're very all interesting fights, aren't they? Yeah, they are. There's, there's no bullshit fights. There, there, there isn't, there isn't. <laughs> they're, all, they're all matched very, very competitively, do you know what I mean? And I said it earlier on, matchmaking and boxing is a very, very hard thing to get right, so... All I can say is, Carl Gallagher, if you're listening, you're doing, you're doing yourself absolutely fantastic, mate. Absolutely matchmaking purposes wise and producing great fighters and putting on a great show. And look at it, it, it evidently speaks for itself. Oh, it? no doubt, no doubt. Again, oh, again, you, what you might do in boxing, a lot of people just look at the fighters and say, okay, these two big friends, they'll, they'll do this and they'll do that. But those who know boxing, those who match me correctly, will understand that obviously James brings something different to the table and Ellis brings something different to the table. And those two different those different ingredients that they both possess is meshing to make meshing to make a fantastic fight. That's where the saying comes from. Styles make fights. Most definitely, most definitely. Obviously, Ellis is making backward steps to try and find a bit of range. David's not good. I mean, James isn't giving him a backward step. So that's what he wants to do. And, and this fight is actually meshing perfectly well. I'm I'm really really enjoying it. I will I will say that Ellis is up. Ellis is winning. Yeah. They're both looking fit though. Yeah, they're, 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 both, they're, nice both they're both looking fit. They are. Yeah, I can't complain. Um, they both are looking fit. This is the third round. We've got one more to go after this. It's been a very, very interesting fight so far. Again, I have to say that Ellis is up on two rounds, I have to say. But James, oh, James is keeping running. Really right James, James is definitely keeping him. Oh, and again. Ellis is not to hold on there. But James steps back a little touch now. He can do something with that. Oh, we can. We can. He can. Oh, Ellis, right now James is catching him, but at the same time Ellis is Ellis is firing back. But I don't know if you know, but when Ellis has got his hands up, 
He's landing to his temple. He needs to get the arms in front of his face by the side of his head. Look at that. See it again. You know, he's just giving James Carvelli. James Carvelli has got absolutely no business hitting Ellis McCauley for, with a long range up cut like he just did. So, Ellis needs short to, range only, isn't it, really? Exactly. So, yeah. Ellis needs to get back on his jab and start boxing. Because right now, Ellis is it. Ellis is it. James is taking Ellis into a dog fight, and that's exactly what he wants. Oh, well, I think. Nice right hand from Ellis McCauley. It most definitely was, but I, th I thought he broke oh. free, but James is still there. He is. <laughs> what? Do you yes, know what? Yes. Do you know what? Um, the fans never know yet. Carl Gallagher make this fight again. Sorry, make this fight again. This fight is a hell of a fight. Two over six rounds, eight. I don't care. This is a fight. This is a perfect blend of styles. It definitely is. They both want it. They, they both do want it. You know what happens when you get um? What's the phrase? Damn. The unstoppable force against the unmovable object. You know. You know. Is it? They're both just going for it. Einstein was that. I have no idea we said it, but nevertheless, I agree I with you. I was just you to think it was. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't get outside the oh. coming out of it. But, um, We're getting physical. Look at this. Physics. For me, this round, right, I've got to say, James, tight. I've got to say James Car Carvelli's. Oh, a lovely night. He's, he's, sneak, he's sneaking hands in. He's just. Yeah. He's come out of his shell yes. a bit now, he hasn't he? Yeah. his shell. Well, lovely third round. What a third, you know what? third round to James Carvelli. I've got, I've got to say. You either give that third round to James, or you split it, could have both got an argument in that round, but I'm telling you now, James is still in this fight. It may be two rounds down, but he's still in this fight. And right now, what the, what this round just said to me, is that Ellis is hateable. James is hateable, we all know that's the kind of fight he is, but Ellis is most definitely hateable. So. Oh, Ellis wants it, he, he, he's there, he, he's doing what he should be doing for his rage. He is, he is, but at the same time, James is starting to break through a little bit more. So, yeah, I want to do. I want to see Ellis get back to when he, the way he was in the first round when he was just taking his time, popping the jab, right hands, moving. I want to see that again, but nevertheless, James is dropping into a fight. So I'm loving that. I love it when someone can do that. Is this so? Oh, so now we've touched him up for the fourth and final yeah, round. Final. Again, I have to say again, um, I've got Ellis, Ellis McCauley in front, but by no means is this a foregone conclusion. If he's not careful, he might get caught or he might walk into something. So, as long as he stays in his piece, he'll be alright for this one. But again, look at this. James Carvery just dropped him. That's what this is what I'm talking about. This is the boxing that I love. The ball being dropped into a fire fight. This is what I'm talking about. Maintaining. Now, right now, Ellis is holding on a bit, but. But this one, this is oh, a uh, nice, now, tasty. Now, add, now right if, down, if you're if you're a boxer and you have a short fire, look what James is doing. James is not giving Ellis any respect. He's not easy. He don't give he's a shit about his height. That's he's feeling his chest and he's in the fight. But yeah. I don't know if you saw it. Obviously, Ellis just threw a good six point well, three there, but right it was a bit too close. But nevertheless, this is a fight. And I'm telling you now, Ellis is going to learn so much from this fight. He's going to learn so much from this fight. Now, Ellis overreaching then. I think right now, El I think Ellis might be a bit tired. Because right, right, he's doing a lot more holding, Ellis. I'm sorry, but he's he's not popping that jab out loud the way he should. All he's doing now is just throwing power shots, and a lot of people do that when they get tired. Yeah, but yeah he's throwing that right hand often. He's, for, he's throwing that right hand maybe a little bit too often. I've not really seen him. No jab. I've, yeah. He's got to be careful with that because if James throws one over the top and Ellis throws a sloppy jump, it Oof. might be curtains for him. It might definitely be curtains. You know, but this is a fight. This, what, what can I say about this fight? It's a nice fight. This, this, it's this, interesting. It's the, oh, oh, oh. Ellis stumbled James. Oh, oh lovely right shot. hand of James Carvelli. Return that now. Oh, right now, right now, right now, I've seen that Ellis is gritting down. He's got, he said, fuck it. I'm going. I'm biting down on my gum shield. He's biting down. I, I can see care. it. I can physically see him biting exactly. down. You can. You can see. You can roll. Throw that fight. Fight. Let's go to that fight. Now, again, I, I'm going to apologise to the parents if the kids are watching. But fortunately, I should have like a a parental adv advisor in these shows because sometimes you get a bit passionate, get a bit heated, and I'm going to say what I think, and I don't really care. Because I'm commentating. And I have the right to do so. Well, anyway, back to the boxing. 
what can I say about that fight? That fight was it started, it started off as a boxing match, and Ellis was using the skills. He was using all his all his natural um, he was using all of his natural what do you call it? All of his natural attributes. Sorry about my, my donors, I apologise. But slowly but surely, James Carvelli dro drug it, dragged him, kicking the screen into a fight fight. Don't get me wrong. Ellis, Ellis did his business and handled it. I would have loved to have seen a bit more, a, a little bit more about, by the way, from Ellis. That's just me being picky. James fought the fight that, that he could. He did his business, but nevertheless, I think this is in Ellis' hands. But I'm not a referee, so I don't know what this Let's see, let's see who it goes to. Ellis McCauley, Ellis McCauley pulled out of the back. Well, I won't say pulled out of the back, it was, it was in control. To begin with, Ellis was, was fought, was, he fought the fight fantastic. But then, he got, like I said, he got dragged into a fire fight and it's not what he wants to do, but to be fair, sometimes you need a fire fight to develop your career, so do you know what? Uh, no respect to the kid, he did fantastic. I'd love to see that fight again. I think over six rounds that'll be a real true test of um, Eric McCauley's abilities. Um, sometimes you need a hard fight, and I think this is a perfect fight, a perfect time for Ellis. Again, James was there, he wasn't, he wasn't going to be stopped. He's a tough man, he's a proud man, he's, a, you know, he's got that scars blood, you know, trolling through his veins, but made no mistakes, so does Ellis. Ellis is in a fight, he, you know, out, out fought. 